is Kate. This is my channel chapter, Kate. <laughs> today I'm gonna be <laughs> today I'm gonna be talking about books that my husband wants me to read, but I haven't read yet. Cause I suck. He's <laughs> making a face at me. All right, so he's gonna hand me the books he wants me to read, and I'm going to talk about them, even though I don't know anything about them. So I'm just gonna talk about what I think they're about, and I might talk about why I haven't read them yet. If I haven't read them yet, um, we'll see. So, the first book, please. <laughs> okay, so book number one is Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. It's book one in the Wheel of Time series. So, we have a couple of books from Robert Jordan's personal library that we got at a local used bookstore, but I actually haven't read any of them. So, I haven't actually read any of them yet. So, I don't know what they're about. I'm guessing it's in, like, its own fantasy world. There's the snake on here, the infinity snake eating itself. I forgot the name of the snake. Ouroboros? 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 Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Is that the name of the snake? Okay, so it's got the snake in here, and I saw some movie or something before where they talked about the snake. Ouroboros. And it's like representing whatever. Repetition, maybe. I don't know. There's a plane up there. This seems to be repetition also in my videos. A plane goes loudly by benefits of living kind of close to a an airport. What I'm guessing this is about is a fantasy land where time repeats itself and people can travel in time. Yes. There's like a, a shield and like a nice helmet on there with an axe and a sword so maybe Vikings exist here? Or somebody that fights? There's somebody named Matt with one T which is just pretentious. Oh and Jack. J-A-K. Robert Jordan had no interest in wasting ink on spare letters. I do want to read this, but my my reservations about it mainly lie in the fact that all of these books are included in the series, plus a couple more over there. And I am always hesitant to get into a really long series because I'm a mood reader and I know I won't read the next one and there's a lot probably to keep up with. And I like to read a lot of different things at once and I don't want to get in a slump. So that's why I haven't started reading this yet. But we have this version, then we have a less fancy version that matches the rest of the series. So The second book, please. Yep. Okay. So the second book is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Bradbury? I'm pretty sure this is a classic, right? Yes. Okay. I know it is a dystopian. Uh, the main character's name is Guy. Uh, Guy. Okay, I'm not going to judge it by the name, the name Guy. Okay, um... I already have, I read another book with a guy named Guy, but it was a superhero book, so it was okay, because it was cheesy. So, okay, it's a dystopian, he's a fireman. So, if it's dystopian, and it's called Fahrenheit 451, or 451, <laughs> as the kids say, I'm gonna guess that it's a dystopian because the world is really hot, and maybe it's just really hot everywhere and fires start easily. Maybe there's a drought. Maybe there's no rain and that's why it's a dystopian. How, how close was I? I was not. I actually do really want to read this one and I will get to it probably faster than the others because it's not a series. It's a standalone and it doesn't look super big. And I'm trying to read like one classic a month at least because I'm trying to get in more into classics. So this will probably be one of those that I read soon. Maybe. Next! Book, please. Oh, hello, thank you. Oh, this one. Okay, so he's been trying to get me to read this one for a while now. It is a, oh boy, the series is A Tale of the Malazan Book of the Fallen. I'm guessing the Book of the Fallen is not a book in the series, but it's a book in the place, the world. This is book number one, Gardens of the Moon. And he likes the, he liked the series a lot, and it sounded pretty cool, but it also sounded really sad and dark and he said something about there being like a lot of gods and like stuff like that so guessing from the title of this one book of the fallen has to do with gods maybe fallen from their place of power maybe it says gardens of the moon so maybe they're cultivating societies on the moon or maybe they get their powers from the moon like mermaids is that a thing i don't know if that's a thing or not 
like werewolves and other supernatural beings. Maybe I'll read this. Again, my main reservation with this one is just the fact that it's a long series and there's dog hair in the pages. Again, I'm just not ready to get into a long series. I accidentally just jumped into another series that's like not super long and series are scare me because I don't want to get stuck and then not like it and then like get into a slump that I can't dig my way out of like a grave or something. But I do want to read this one and this one's actually smaller than a lot of the ones in the series. Yeah there's a couple that are like 1200 pages and I don't trust myself with that. I'm pretty sure I'll get like 200 in and get into a slump. So maybe I'll get to them soon. I would like to but it's, it's probably gonna have to be one that I read like at the same time as others because I just don't see myself sitting and sticking with just one of these even though they the world sounds cool and the books sound cool and the writing sounds cool from the excerpts that i've heard maybe one day maybe not we'll see next book please oh hello why would you cover my beautiful face okay so we saw like we've watched some of the series about this one okay so this is wizard's first rule this is the sort of truth Apparently the series is nothing like the book, which I'm thankful for because the series was kind of terrible. There was like this funky looking wizard guy who was just goofy. There was like this dominatrix lady. There's a whole like, is that in the, is that in the books too? Okay, maybe maybe there are dominatrixes in the book and that's, that's cool, whatever. Maybe I'm into that, I don't know. So, you know, maybe it would be interesting, I don't know. But the, the series kind of looked cool, like the concepts, but the execution was bad. And I've read this little book, which is kind of like a prequel. It's like a prequel to the series, and it was it was a really quick read. It was really fast. It doesn't have chapters. It's just one chapter. But I haven't really talked myself into starting this series yet, because again, it's another long series. He likes long series. Is series 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 series. It's just. It's the plural, just series. Maybe it is. Oh, wait, whatever. <laughs> he likes long series because he has focus and willpower and self-control. I lack those things. That's why we're so perfect together. So maybe I'll get into it. But if you haven't heard of this one before, I do know what it's about. It's this guy, the Seeker. The Seeker is the Sword of Truth guy. He has a Sword of Truth. And there's a wizard guy named Zedekazul Zarander, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> and there are these people called the Confessors. And if they confess somebody, that make them fall in love with them until they die. Until the person dies or they die. So they can pretty much make the person do whatever they want. And then there's the dominatrix ladies. And what are they called? They're like taken from their homes as like children. And they're made into these warrior women that wear a lot of leather. At least on the series. I'm not sure. Do they wear leather in the books too? Probably wear leather. Okay. They wear leather in the books too. The Mord Sith. They have Sith in their name, which makes them sound dark. Is it Mord with a D or a T? With a D. It still sounds deathy. I actually might get into this one because this one I actually know a little bit about the world so I don't think it'd be quite as hard to keep up with it but this is probably one of the more likely long series that I'd get into. Next book! Where is it coming from now? Oh there it is! Hello Tolkien! This is The Children of Huron? Oh I said it right. What? By J.R.R. Tolkien. It's a story from the Cimmerillion and we found like some and we found some like published versions of some of the stories within the Cimmerillion in Barnes and Noble and we got excited. He got way more excited than I got excited. I just got excited because he was excited and there were pictures. Are there pictures in the Cimmerillion? Sad. There are pictures in this. I don't know what it's about. I feel like he told me at one point but now I can't remember. Okay so the children of Huron. I feel like they have powers. Do they have some sort of powers? Maybe it's the Romans. He looks Roman. Right. Oh, so the Cimmerillion was Tolkien's own mythology that he wrote to dedicate to England. So I found that out. Little history lesson for us. It's from that. That's cool. So it's its own mythology. It's its own thing. Next book. Ah! <laughs> he should have known better than to think that I would catch that book. I'll try that. Oh, there, yep, there it is. Okay. It's Brave New World by Aldous, Aldous Huxley. By Aldous Huxley. Look at this exciting little man with no head and little thingy things. So I've heard a lot about this book. It's a classic. I was reading classics and then he tried to, to talk me into this one like a million different times. He kept like pulling it slightly out of the bookshelf so maybe I would grab it and I didn't. I read 1984 Animal Farm by George Orwell instead. So I need to read this one because apparently he likes this one. And what I've kind of gathered about it is that it's sort of society, is it dystopian? It's, it's dystopian and they kind of distract society with um, spectacles like sports and entertainment and 
Maybe. So, you know how, like, there's a lot of bad political stuff going on in the world right now? It's like, oh, look, here's the Super Bowl, or here's Beyonce, and then we focus on that rather than the scary stuff, because ignorance is bliss and all that kind of stuff. That's what I'm kind of gaining. Apparently, that's closer to Fahrenheit 451. Is it, like, like, coliseum -y? Okay, so I'm completely wrong. But it's it's very political, I'm, I'm get is it political? More philosophical? It's a brave new world. Next and final and last book. Oh! It got wrinkled. Right, so, there's a dog breath on my knee. This book is Sword of Destiny by Andre Sapkowski. This is the Witcher series, this is the second prequel to the series. I've read the first prequel and it's like a bunch of short stories and I know this one I actually had in my video about retellings because it has got it's got several like fairy tale retellings in the world of the Witcher. Um, and if you don't know anything about the Witcher, it's it's like a it's a Polish series and it's highly ingrained into their culture and stuff like that. And it's also been made into a video game. So these are translated, but I've heard the translations are done really really well. But the Witcher is essentially a guy who hunts like monsters and beasts. But he does it for pay and it's something that he's trained from like a young age to do. So a lot of people look down on the witchers because they do this stuff for pay and they kind of I guess they think he should just do it for free I guess but you know if you're good at something then you don't do it for free. I actually am going to probably read this one soon because it's short stories and I find I get through those pretty quickly. The moon is out. But that is all the books that my husband wants me to read that I have not read yet and that I may soon read eventually. I will have a steve -a -thon one of these days and possibly read all of them. Maybe I'll just make a month, some month in the year, a steve -a -thon. I would make August a steve because it's his birthday month, but there's a couple of read -a in August, so we'll see. Maybe I'll try to read one Steve book a month, and then I'll stop bugging me. Just kidding. That's all I got. If you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye! Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night I feel the soldiers coming, I'm done pulling up a fight